Hey guys, it's been a while since I had a video. Um, so, here's the next one. I got in the mail a Beofing UV5R that I'm going to review. Um, I did a review of the UV3R over here and I kind of bashed it a little and I was kind of sleepy when I did that. So, comparing it, we're going to do a comparison test with the UV3R and the UV5R and show the differences in size and uh, capabilities of each rig. So, without further ado, here's the unboxing of the UV5R. Notice it comes with uh, no tape on this side as usual. So, and it looks like we got the uh, Bay of Pain portable two way radio. Let's see if it's a UV5. Alright, 409 shop is where I got it again. Um, here's the user's manual with digital signal processing. And here we have it. Here it is. UV5R. A good sized battery, much uh, much larger than the battery in this one, of course. A similar sized antenna, it's a little bit thicker than the UV3. Um, but it's still a uh, SMA connector on the inches long. This off, look at that. A free that's cardboard, free pin, um, a lapel mic, charger. This one is not a USB charger. You see it just plugs right into the wall with a normal size, whatchamacallit, and the uh, mount and a lanyard. And that's the box. Looks like Let's get rid of all the trash and uh, hook it up. So this is a 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp hour battery in comparison with the UV3 which requires me to take off the bell clip. The UV3 has a 3.7, 1500 milliamp hour battery. So with the increased power draw of the UV5, um, 5 watts versus like 2 watts, um, you definitely have to bring the battery up to size. So there's no FCC stuff on the battle. There's a little, there's a little um, FCC label on it, but it's just saying uh, frequency 136, 174 to and 400 to 480 megahertz. So that's that's lovely. So it just clips in there, it seems. And then the power button, and then the power button, the power button. Oh. There we go. That's how it should be. The power button is the <laughs> dial on top. Mode. And she has a really nice voice. So let's stick the antenna on and plug in the W0 Triple E repeater and see if uh, it can work. So I'm going to get 145 or uh, 0 megahertz transmit on it. Ooh, do you see that? This is in 0 SSC. Look at that. When I receive it's purple, when I transmit it's red. That is nifty. Um, and the, the backlit, the lit, the numbers are all backlit, so you see there, you can see it in the dark, as opposed to this where you just kind of have to guess. I mean, it's not hard, because you only have four buttons, but... Um, in size comparison, it's about an inch longer, a little bit, um, about two widths of this thing. It's about, it's pretty acceptable. It's very light, extremely light. Let's see, we have some buttons. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just go into menu. Well, the, it comes with the LED, but I don't know which button it is. The orange button on the side turns on the FM radio. Holding it down, turns on the alarm. N0 SSC testing. And the monitor button turns the LED blue as the ocean and opens that up. But you have to hold it down for a few moments, which is, uh, I wish it would just be immediate or instantaneous. Oh, and there's a light holding down the monitor button. So that's why you can't just, you know, it's got a time delay so that you don't turn on the light. So how do I put in a repeater offset? Well, let's go to menu. Let's look around. TX power, save, vox, ABR, TDR. What's TDR? I don't know. Timeout timer, R. We're going to have to change the CTCSS. So hit menu again. Change it up to 110.9 for sure. 10.9. She sounds beautiful. 
Let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's see, we got menu, CTCSS, receive, going up, up, voice English, any ID, I don't know, uh, DTMF, ST, S code, SCREV, PTT ID, that's probably an ID, automatic ID here. BCL, auto lock, soft D, offset. There we go, that's offset what we want. Frequency. Beautiful. So, I don't want to go that way. I want 600 kilohertz, so I'm pretty sure it's just 0.6. Holding it down, it shoots it up. Three, four, five, six. There we go. Hit menu. Move up the menu a little more. Memory channel, delete channel, WT, LED. Pawn, message, Roger, reset all. So I don't see anything in here where it actually lets you. Channel bandwidth confirmed. She understands bandwidth. Um, I don't see anywhere in here where it uh, allows repeater. So time to match buttons, or maybe, just maybe, read the manual. What's in the manual here? I just want to set a repeater. It has a description of all the menu instructions, menu definitions. So ABR, display illumination, S code, signal code, whatever that is. Um, pawn message. So when you boot up, what does it say? <laughs> that's, that's cute. Um, all kinds of cool stuff. It's, it's, it's feature packed, I guess. I mean, it, it does everything you want it to do. In here, it does not say how to put a repeater in, but I'm pretty sure you can just kind of infer from the directions if you see like repeater split and then hit make the repeater split on. It has dual watch, dual reception with the two frequency. It has two, a double frequency, so there must be a dual watch display or dual watch um, ability. SFTD is what we want. That is direction of frequency shift. Menu. What is what number is it? S F T D. S S S S S S S S S. They're not number twenty-five. Okay, so that's cool. If I'm in menu and I type twenty-five, it takes me right to that thing. So I go menu, type plus or minus, and for W zero triple it's minus. Hit menu again. Confirm. And then menu. No, don't hit menu. Hit push to talk to get out of there. And there you have it. Um, now the last thing is to set the tone. So where's the tone button? Now I need to go find the tone. CT, 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 CSS, menu, and it's number 13, so I type 13. And it says 110.9 hertz. All right, and I also want to set the R C T C S S to the same thing, so I get tones. This is zero S S C testing. I think it heard me. Let's try out. Let's see if it heard me uh, in real life. Zero S S C. This is Katie Zero R D. Haha. Hey, K C D R Zero R D Z in zero S S C. This is the U V five R. Um. Yep. It works. Yeah, weren't you saying you were going to get one of these? Um, this thing even looks like it's got a full battery. Yeah, as soon as I, as soon as I can afford it, I'll, I'll, I'll get one. I mean, I bought the UV3R and I'm not going to get one of these. And now, you know, just that came out, you know, brand new toy, you know, kind of deal. So I'll just, just wait a little while. Hey! Yep, this is our tester guy, behind the scenes. All hidden away. <laughs> yep. So it looks like a real test, you know? I know, right? I was totally unexpecting that. Not even, not even across the, uh, you know, the repeater. <laughs> he just, the wall. He just threw the wall all the way to the repeater. That was perfect. Thanks for that. No problem. <laughs> so there you have it. That's how it works. The push to talk is a nice big button. Easy to push. Might be a bad thing. It might be too easy to push, you know, on, on accident, you know? Um... Last thing, how do we save? How do we save? Go to menu, type three. Okay. So I still haven't figured out how to set the memory, but that's okay. I'll figure it out later. Um, let me show you some links of some other Bayo Finger reviews that actually do know how to set the memory right here and down here. Um, for the most part, you've probably clicked down there because these won't be here all the time, but these will. So check those out. Consider uh, 
fighting back to the uh, Japanese man and going with the Chinese man. I don't know. There's no American sellers, sellers of these radios, so you're kind of stuck with picking which country you want to buy from. For the most part, the Beofing UV5R is not a bad deal. To me, it really looks like a great deal. Indeed, $48. This one was about the same price uh, for such a small package. It does a little bit less than this does. I can only probably say that the only thing that this radio can do that this one can't is send DTM up tones. Um, the only thing is that this one's way harder to program. Whereas this one has a nice little keypad. This is probably one of the best radios for youth involvement, uh, getting youth involved to keep their parents, you know, can't buy this radio because it's a hundred dollars and you know, you can't really justify getting a radio like this for a hundred dollars. Um, I mean used you can get them for like $50. Like you, I got my FT60 for about 80. I, I kind of shut this rig down, but I've been using this almost every day. It, it, it works like a dream. My roommate, as you saw, as you heard earlier, uses one of these. Works great, it's really cheap. This one's really cheap, does even more things. So go out and consider the UV5R as your next uh, HT. It's nearly darn near disposable, as well as the UV3R. So 73 from N0 SSC.